I go my you. How many can win and do maybe? Do maybe? Oh, yeah, can we say this? I'm in for more. Come on, hey, do maybe? Baby, don't go carry belly. I've done that already. Is there any boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? I know some of you here are ready to start the class. Thank you for coming promptly. Thank you for coming timely. Thank you for even showing up. You know, for some people, they are mannerless. They will not even attend. Thank you for coming to the Grace at Genova Share today. Thank you for attending. Mm? As a big sis thing, you know, you know, there's some things I've gone through in my life that I don't want you to, to feel it. I don't want you to feel torn and teared down and broken down the way that some animal tore me down. We're giving you some tips here and there that will just help you to, to rise up. You know, when you're going lower, when you have a situation, you don't say, ah, my God, Grace said this thing. This is my fault. If you want to know what I would do in a situation or some of the tips that I would give, you know, just so that is a red flag, pew, red flag in the bin. Red flag, go to the bin. Thank you. You might not have big sis around. They might not have all those, you know, people that can um, give them some small advice. You know, I don't think I'm, I, I don't feel like I know everything, no. But... I feel like I've been through enough disgrace to be able to come out and say, you know, yo, this is a red flag. Has it happened to anybody else? If it has happened to anybody else, please help my sister, help her to guide her. That's what we should be doing for each other rather than hiding and acting like to say, your life, everything is perfect and everything. Listen, nobody's life is perfect. Everybody is going through challenges every day. Everybody has been torn down. Everybody's been teared down because of deception, because of lying, and because you're an animal. <laughs> I know what I'm gonna call this right now. So in today's video, I think I'm gonna call it "Don't Spoil Your Market." Okay. Now, Grace, what do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, what do you mean? Don't spoil your market? What do you mean, Grace? What does that mean? When you're in your prime, I've noticed this thing. When you're in your prime, you're blossoming. You know, you're still in a young girl. You're sexy. Your waist is cutie, no matter where you are, what stage in your life or whatever. You are doing very, very, very good in your life. You don't have any responsibilities. In like you're, you, you're working, you're getting the, the wage that you want or like close enough to what you want. Like you're in a good space, like mentally, everything is all right with you. That's when the devil will come as a beast in the night. And start putting things in your front that is like um, distractions they keep on showing party to you every time there's a party going on ah i have to be there where's the ashe be where's the this where's the that you're just a part of holic you have to go to every party on the block you have to be there and they're actually lit you girls are actually so lit <laughs> this is a form of distraction so there's a really amazing guy that you really like and you're obsessed with and you're just always in your mind and you just can't stop breathing around him and it's just like oh my god he's just so sexy don't go and fall down into a dungeon because of six pack because of pack of six so don't go and fall down they contribute they are contribute to you know your life scattering because and then, and then on top of it a lot of the time it's lost we're only lusting over these people we don't even really love them like that we just lost in there we say ah he's so cute i like the waist i like the way he's behaving you know maybe it's money maybe it's, there's something ginger in you about him but you don't know him long enough to say that you love him so he's just lost on the surface anybody that you love or you like immediately they do say, oh, love at first sight. But I don't actually feel like it's love at first sight. I think it's lost at first sight. So when you first of all see them, because they're exactly your type, without them opening their mouth, you've already fainted. You've already fall to your knees. <laughs> By the way, shout out to this amazing girl, Fola. She did my hair. She's such a damsel. She gave me a unit. I'll tell you the story later on how I ended up having it and things like that. But honestly, it is gorgeous. I love the coiler. I love the bounce. I love the look at it. It's so silky. Anyway, this is stuff that I would do for myself now. This is what I would do for myself. So I'm sharing it with you because I'm going to share my thoughts. You know, one thing that's consistent in my life is my following, my mom, my family, you know, those are the most consistent things in my life. And I feel like, you know, why not be honest? Why not be, but let's share, sharing is caring. You know, that's the first step of being able to, to destroy something from, you know, keep things that just keep on happening. You know, you can start reducing it when people talk about it, you know? 
anyway, don't spoil your market. Sometimes looking on the outside of your own life, sometimes it can, you know, other people's life can be looking very sparkling. You know, you just think, wow, look at the bag, look at the shoe, look at the, look at the, look at the handbag. Hey, where you people define, where are you finding this morning? You know, a couple of red flags that I think might deter me now from being in any type of, of form of relationship is like, you know, anyway, when you are already approaching, when you are 28, 29, 20, 29, 30, you're going to realize that, you know, people are, you know, people are going to be having children. People have children at that age, you know, so you better get with it or else you'll be throwing everybody in the bin. So after a while, you just have to think, oh, maybe I should start expressing, don't bother yourself. One, maximum. Two, okay, I can't even... I can even I can I can try my way. When you start having a situation where that the guy has more than three, three, four, five, six, and you didn't think he has a red flag, what's going on? When somebody has three, four, five, six children, right, and some of them they have with different partners, that is a very big red flag. You want to join them, yeah, but you want to join the family. But you know what? Especially when you are single. You're a single girl. You're living your life. Your life is good. You know, you don't have, like I said, you don't have any responsibilities. This is the time where you should shine your eyes. Those girls, all those girls under 26 that watch my channel, 27 that watch my channel, this one is specifically for you. Because let me tell you something people that are really in bondage and they're struggling in their life or they're sad in their life or they're depressed in their life they always latch on to people that are doing good in their lives that they are comfortable that they're single free going they're you know you are just so jolly go lucky you are enjoying yourself you know they will come and start tearing it to shred they will come and start tearing your life to shred so that you can join them in their trash life so that you can join them in their rubbish so you have to be very, very vigilant. You have to be very, very vigilant with these people because they're really mad. When they see you doing okay, they want somebody to latch on to you. They want someone to uh, to murder them. They want somebody... Listen, you're not anybody's mommy and daddy. Just get that in your head. Even for men too, I'm going to tell my son the same thing. You're not anybody's daddy. <laughs> do, you, do you hear me? You know... Whatever you can do, do it. Whatever you cannot do, go and throw it in the bin. Period. Like, whoever doesn't want it, go to your daddy and go and ask them. Is, there, is everybody here? Is, is everybody here with Rinia? What's going on? So, anyway, what's the next? My second red flag is when you as a woman are the, are the sole earner. Now, I spoke about this in my last video. A person in a relationship should be the sole earner. Like, yes, okay, fine, men can be that. But in terms of women... You're not supposed to be the sole earner because let me tell you, when everything starts to drop down and then all you're doing is living out of your savings, living out of the money that you're holding together as you you know, as when you were comfortable before, you were a cool girl, you know, you have your savings, you're just putting, you know, your gently money that you're just saving, your gentle money here and there. You know, before you know it, you start spending that money between you both. So you that are just organizing your life, you don't even know if this person is going to be in your life forever. You already started to tear your, your savings to shreds or to be going to be doing mommy for somebody that already has their own mom. You know, for a grown man, like, what's that? Some You guys have to take your brain out of that shit. Um, when I tell, call them, I call them the leeches. They suck your blood. They just, all they want to do is suck your blood. Not to take advantage. It's better for you not to even do anything. Honestly, it's better for you not to even stretch and pretend like you want to pay for your pill, your bills and all of that stuff. Don't even bother yourself. Don't bother yourself to be, you know, that, you know, when you're, <laughs> you know, when you're going on a date and then you want to pretend, pay, you want to go and grab your, your coins from, from your wallet, knowing, knowing full well that you don't, you're, you're not planning on paying. There's no point in all of that. Just sit down, relax. Let's see what the guy, sit down, relax and see what the guy is going to do. Whether he's going to be mad enough to say, yeah, bring your wallet, let's pay for it. Like, does it even sound okay? No. Make sure you have your money because how are you going on dates? You don't have any money. You just flex now. You see whether my guy friends or whatever they treat you like a. This is where it all comes from. I am. I feel like I'm the way I am because of the people I hang around with, with the men in my life, with the with the guys in my life. They treat me like a queen. I have not been someone who has had a dad present in my life. But I'll tell you what. My jigger, they've always made me fill in that blank with them. It's that they treat me like royalty. Oh, how can I now go to a date and you want to treat me like junks? Like, 
in the bin, get out of here, into the bin, jump to the lagoon. Because what? Make sure, all right, no putting your egg, all your egg in one basket. I cannot highlight this enough. This one is the, in fact, this should have been number one. Don't bother yourself. Don't bother yourself. Don't bother yourself, darling. Don't put all your egg in one basket because all the egg will break. <laughs> don't put all your egg in one basket. You have to distribute it carefully. You put one in the basket, another in the basket, another in the basket, another in the basket. Now, what you do with those people is none of my business, you know. But if you want my advice, I wouldn't even bother to do anything. I wouldn't, no sexing, no nothing for you. I will give you my time, you take me out, we go to we go to party, you know, we flex on them. All the break, egg will break. You have to distribute them nice and carefully. <laughs> nice and carefully. You know, the nice one, okay, that one. Oh, the one that uh, treats me good, okay, that one there. You don't just throw everyone. Me, I'm the queen of training everybody in the bin. I've learned I'm not going to throw all of them. You have to distribute them carefully. And then the one that's serious, you bring them out. You say, okay, cool. I can have this egg. You know, because also, you just have to be careful. That's my little, I'm just doing a little tip for you today. You have to be careful. These people are animal. They just, they, 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 they want to tear you from all the good things that's going on. And that's the devil for you. When you'll be walking on your right path, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you are in a different direction because you're too busy looking at the pack of six. You are too busy looking at where they didn't call you. You are too busy looking at the club. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you have to assess your situation and know that, okay, cool, there's not some things that I did here right now. It didn't make sense. But now moving forward, I'm going to change it. I'm going to do... That's the problem with women. A lot of them, they want to just... They're scared to move on. But I'm here to tell you, baby... You can do it. You can do it. Come on, rocket girl. <laughs> Got it. All you have to do is believe in yourself that you know what? This is not right for me. And I have I can I know that I can do it. I know that I can bounce back. You have to bounce back home. You have to bounce back because the world goes on. The world continues to go on every day and every day. Before anything now, I just I don't even bother myself. If I see that you're wasting my time and I'm not feeling the feedback. So some people can be excited and it does quiet. Once it's quiet like this, oh yeah, being straight. <laughs> Once it's quiet like this, oh yeah, being straight. <laughs> because you're not valuing my time. You know, you can't be for everybody. You can't be on the streets for everybody. You have to be, you have to select the type, especially when you finish making a mistake. You have to make sure that the step that you do, the next step is going to be a bouncy step. You can't just be step stepping anywhere and doing anything, any jargons. No. You have to watch where you're going now. You have to be observant. Check around. Check the different flavor. Then you can now mm -hmm, go down and see what else is next. But in this life, my sister, make sure, like I said, you are living your life for you. Don't live any your life for anybody because listen when everybody die and everybody go everybody will live on darling everyone will live on and i see it every day it actually gives me chills when I, everybody will cry ah, oh she was so such an amazing girl she was so amazing and then all of a sudden she's that same person is like you know they live in people's hearts but you know people still live on everyone lives on i beg don't bother yourself and like i said i will say this once and once and for all for the people at the back. Don't start doing any rubbish for your boyfriend. For example, don't go, listen, a man is supposed to take you however you are. The right man, somebody will say that me, I'm, I'm the dirt on their shoe. Another person will tell me I'm their diamond and they love me and they want to romance me and all they want to do is, you know, kiss and hug and, and make me their, their, their lover, you know? So another man's dirty is another one's another man's jewel. <laughs> and that is the lovely effect of life. So God didn't just leave one person here for us to have. There's many different options for us. You just have to find it. No, let me flow the clothes. Oh baby, I just yeah, I just finished cooking from the early in the morning. Are you stupid? Don't bother yourself. Queens don't cook. They hire the help. 
to go and <laughs> that's if you want to i beg listen that's if if i'm your wife wonderful if i'm your girlfriend go and hire your help to go and do all those things for you because i'm not going to slave you too much i'm telling you you don't have to bother yourself just light light a light touch in the house if the guy wants to marry you marry you you're respectable of whether you can cook whether you can clean whether you can listen all of those things you can find a maid for it that's what i say <laughs> i'm not a maid that's not what we do here okay if you're looking for that go and find that go and book somebody if doesn't like that that's fine you know you don't have to like that i don't like you either <laughs> yes thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video remember what i said though remember what i said don't do too much for any stupid idiots okay I'm not showing you that they deserve you to hell with them don't you dare cry don't you dare get upset you can do it okay i believe in you i know that you're gonna be a winner you are blessed and you are highly favored don't let anybody turn you into a, a punching bag don't let anybody turn you into a fool don't anybody lie to you and throw any dustbin any idiot in the bin if they need to go there okay i slap somebody i'm gonna help you to slap them. thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video i love you guys so so much and i know you know that